continue to follow this overnight breaking news story out of Minneapolis. Chaos overnight, protests continuing, and you're looking at video of a Minneapolis police station that was set ablaze late last night. All of this in response to the death of George Floyd at the hands of city police officers. A lot of 14 protesters were taken into custody after police declared a riot outside the Penumbra Kelly building in southeast Portland last night. Officers say the demonstration escalated as people shined green lasers at officers, burned U.S. flags, fired paintball guns, and threw balloons filled with paint. Police say a Portland fire and rescue medic was hurt in this riot when someone threw a large rock at his shin. For the third straight night, police have had to break up the crowd outside the Bureau's East Precinct building. Police say people dismantled a security camera on the building and lit fires. Officers say at one point, two elderly community members tried to stop a group from vandalizing the building and were hit with paint. Police say they made several arrests, including a person with a loaded gun. Police telling me that crowd really got unruly in late August, telling me they busted windows to businesses, they were throwing explosives, and even blocked off traffic. They also say at one point, someone sprayed an officer in the face with a chemical, and tonight they're trying to track that person down. A stunning scene outside the home of San Jose's mayor as vandals spray painted all over it. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau is in San Jose with reaction from the mayor. Some businesses near the intersection of Swan Boulevard and North Avenue were also damaged. A lot of windows were smashed this morning, but now a different scene as neighbors and community leaders came together to clean up and they say start the healing process. New tonight at 6, the city now has 20 days to respond to a lawsuit claiming both the mayor and LNPD did not protect businesses from looters in downtown Louisville in Lake May. A lot of time and money to build it up to what it was but it seemed to be destroyed in a matter of days. The weekend of May 29th, when downtown Louisville businesses were looted, Bright's wig shop was one of them. Tens of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise was taken. Absolutely. Today, more than 50 days after the unrest following the death of George Floyd, investigators found a man's body inside a building that burned down. After 90 days of unrest and protests in the streets of Portland, many are looking to city leaders for solutions to end the nightly violence we're seeing. Mayor for a second night in a row, people gathered outside the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Building in South Portland to protest. Police say people parked cars to block McAdam Avenue, lit dumpsters on fire, and spray painted windows on the building. When federal officers left the building, the crowd threw rocks at them and other items. Portland we begin with those clashes in Times Square. Caravan rallies in support of President Trump took a violent turn when they met up with counter protesters, leading to fistfights and objects being hurled at cars. See Judy, as a wide array of stores were looted, police cars torched, and violence stretched police thin on two separate weekends this spring and summer. New data obtained tonight by the I team reveals that ATMs were a popular and repeated target. This hammer attack on a downtown... <laughs> Tell you, Jim. I covered NATO. I've covered the Van Dyke trial and the and the, uh, the, the 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 protest after that. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, my God. 